Cruise ships are floating mega resorts, and they have thousands of passengers and crew on board, and all these people need to stay hydrated, shower, and use the restroom. Their dishes need to be cleaned, and their pools need to be filled. So where do cruise ships get all that water? Well, you may have guessed it. All the water comes straight from the sea. But as we all know, seawater is salty. So how do they get the salt out of the sea, so to speak? The answer is reverse osmosis, or RO. Reverse osmosis is a separation process applying pressure to the liquid to remove any solutes as it passes through a porous membrane. It's really an important and interesting process today, but I'll make it boring, so I encourage you to look it up. It's really just the opposite of osmosis. <gasps> Okay, so that's right. Cruise ships have enormous RO plants below deck, and they're constantly pumping water out of the sea, removing the salt, and then pumping throughout the rest of the ship for the passengers to use. Ew, I'm drinking seawater? Don't worry. RO plants remove 99% of contaminants. Okay, but how much water are we talking? Well, the average person consumes 300 liters of water per day. Multiply that by three to 4,000 people. That means a cruise ship's RO plants are pumping about 1 million liters of water per day. So every two days, they're using as much water as an Olympic-sized swimming pool. So that is a lot of water. Okay, but why do they use RO plants? Why don't they just fill up a giant water tank? Well, there's two reasons. One, if we have a bunch of water sitting around in a hot tank, that means bacteria can grow. And that's why people have gotten really sick in the past on cruise ships. So people getting sick on cruise ships, that's not as common a problem anymore thanks to RO. And the other reason we don't just have giant tanks is because port water can cost as much as $2 per meter cube. So if the ship wanted to fill a giant tank up with water, it's going to cost a lot of money. That means RO plants save the ship around half a million dollars per year in water costs. And that's how cruise ships get their water. Please show your support by liking and subscribing, and thanks for watching.